Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so nervous slash excited to be sharing this experience with you. I know this is a video that a lot of you have waited for a long time for and trust me, out of all of us, no one has been waiting longer than I have because it's literally been sitting in my wardrobe room for like a month now and I have been dying to unbox this. For those of you that are wondering why I've been waiting so long <laughs> to unbox this, it is because I bought this as a present for my 30th birthday, which is coming up. And I was very strict with myself on when I was okay to unbox this. I didn't want to open it straight away. I just felt like that would kind of take the magic out of coming closer to my birthday. There's always such a nice little bit of excitement if you've got something that you've like bought for yourself or maybe someone else has bought for you, whether big or small, that you're really looking forward to opening. It always just makes that time a little bit more special. So I was very adamant with myself that I wasn't opening this when I bought it. I also wanted to have the majority of my work like wrapped up before my birthday, but I did want to open it a little bit earlier because I have some things planned around my birthday that I would have really loved to have worn this item in particular to. So that is where we are at today. So backstory, I had a few bags on my wish list that I knew were ones that I wanted to look into getting. For the big three zero, there were a couple that I had in mind and with COVID and everything happening, I really wasn't sure if I was actually gonna be able to go in store myself and pick these up. I wasn't sure if I'd have to kind of have a service that does it for me. I just really didn't know what the situation was gonna be. I don't live in London and I don't shop in Chanel a lot as a lot of you will know. So it just was a little bit uncertain as to whether I'd be able to get an appointment because at one point and still today there are lots of stores that you have to get an appointment in and I just, I'm not organized enough for that in life and I know that's my own problem. But I really didn't know whether this was going to be possible. I didn't know if a bag that I liked was even going to be in stock. So it was all a bit up in the air and I actually ended up being in London mid-August for a work trip and I had a little bit of free time the next day, which actually ended up being a bit of a nightmare day because I lost my vlogging camera. Literally the worst thing I could have possibly have lost as a YouTuber. I actually lost it after purchasing this because I was just so excited that apparently I left it in the back of an Uber. But anyway, I had some time free and I didn't have an appointment. I thought I would just try my luck. I went to the Bond Street Chanel store and backstory, I have never actually bought a Chanel bag in London. I own two Chanel bags and I bought them both in Rue Cambon in Paris, which if you ever get the opportunity to buy a Chanel bag, buy it there because number one you get the white bag and that's the only store that you get the white bags it's like the original store and that's just a nice thing to have but also the service in there I have always just been so happy with it I've heard really like hit and miss things about Chanel in London and always been a bit apprehensive to buy my bags here because I've had such good experiences over in Paris so I just really wasn't sure whether this was going to happen and I'm not gonna lie I am still a little bit sad that I've kind of broken the chain of like going to Paris and buying my Chanel bags which definitely isn't the end of the world but it was a nicety just like one of those nice things but anyway like I said I was very apprehensive about buying a bag in London because I'd heard such hit and miss things about some of the stores and about the service levels and I decided to head down to the Chanel store on Bond Street which I've passed so many times before I've been like above it for like work meetings before for like their beauty department and it's so so lovely and I just I was quite familiar with it to begin with so it felt like a good place to start even if I didn't come away with anything and I'd heard good things from people that I knew that shopped there about the service so it just felt like a safe bet and I can confirm it was I didn't need an appointment which I don't know if maybe there's certain days of the week when they do do that like a weekend or a busy kind of like weekday evening afternoon that kind of thing but I went at about half 10 11 in the morning so still fairly early and it was very quiet I think there were about four other people in the whole store. I did have to wait a few minutes to be served because there were other people in the store, but that was absolutely fine with me. And I just had a look around in that time and I really wasn't sure there was anything I was gonna come away with. There wasn't anything that was speaking to me particularly apart from one bag that's a variant of what I got in a gray, which I could have been very happy with, but I'm so happy with my choice. The girl that served me was amazing. I have taken her card because I just really vibed with her. She was very cool. You know, when you just meet someone, you're talking to someone who's on your wavelength, like likes the same kind of like style of things as you. I really rated her. And originally I did see myself coming away with a bag that was a little bit different to something that I would normally own. I'll show you the bags that I was torn between in a minute. And it was always between two styles of bag. I could have gone very classic. And there's one bag in particular that I would have been very, very happy to have purchased, which is the CC Trendy in black. That was one of the ones that I was very sure that I would be very happy with, but also that I'd probably come away with because it's just such a gorgeous bag. And it is one that I would definitely like to add to my collection in future, but they actually didn't have any CC Trendy bags in stock 
in like a neutral so that was like immediately like one of my things that i thought i would come away with like cross off the list I had a couple of things in mind there's a certain colored one that i will show you later but i'm pretty sure i only have it in a photo with the bag that i'm going to show you in a second so i don't want to spoil it but yeah immediately i have a group of like options crossed off my list which is fine because there was a certain other style of bag that i asked about and asked what they had in stock in what colors and basically all the doors behind the counter got opened up for me and i could literally just like point and pick out certain colors and stuff and this one in particular caught my eye and it was just so so gorgeous and i'd originally been looking at this in like a a black texture and loved it and that one wasn't available in anything i think except like a very very large style which was not what i was i was down for but anyway like i said i ended up being torn between two bags this one i just i just loved i just loved and still like a month on even though i haven't unboxed it i still feel very sure about this but both bags would have been absolutely lovely and i can't guarantee that i won't own the other one at some point because it's so pretty but anyway with my first little black Chanel shopping bag in my collection. I always keep the bags and that kind of person. I know some people think it's really sad. I don't care. But this, this is it. I am so excited to share this with you. I've actually never unboxed a bag like in this way before. I'm very, very excited about it. It's actually so pretty that I really don't want to ruin this. So before I open this, I actually forgot to say, I this happened to me before when I've done an unboxing on youtube i always get so nervous because you don't see them package it up like they take it away and they box it up for you and i get really nervous that it might not actually be the bag that i wanted to buy <laughs> so um i just need to share my irrational fear with you all because i'm pretty sure that's never happened in the history of like anyone buying chanel bags ever but this is my fear right now i'm like hyperventilating this is actually really hard to feel away i feel sad i'm ripping the paper it's the right bag So pretty. The tissue paper in the box always really gets me. It's so pretty. Like you just don't get that when you buy like other bags. Like my Louis Vuitton bag literally just came in a box in a duster bag. I would say there's not as much tissue papering as there used to be though. They're definitely, I think my first Chanel, I felt like there was so much, but maybe that's because it was my first one and it felt really overwhelming. So this is a Chanel 19 in the small size in this kind of tweed-esque like woven soft fabric. It's so beautiful. I had actually had my eye on a bag that I will pop a picture of here. I have it saved. I have it saved so many times. It's on my dream bag board and it was the one of the first like when the Chanel 19s really started having kind of like an, a moment about like a year or two ago and there was this kind of houndstooth dog tooth like brown and black tweedy soft fabric and i loved it so much i've pinned it so many times i can't even tell you i've been into stores to inquire about it but obviously it sold out like immediately you can get a white and black version but i just never vibed with it the same way i love the brown and the black and it's just forever been one of those bags i was like maybe one day maybe i'll have some luck maybe i'll come across one that doesn't cost like six thousand pounds on vestiaire like the resale prices of that bag in particular because i think because it sold out so quickly i would guess it's so high and it was just beyond what i was happy to pay quite frankly and especially like that was pre-price increase as well it's worth noting that chanel have also just had a price increase and yes i probably did buy this at a bad time but i do feel like there was such a rush to buy items like before the price increase that i don't think i would have got what i wanted and from what i hear people were kind of going wild with buying in there going wild with appointments but anyway that kind of houndstooth black and brown bag had just been on my mind for such a long time. So in my head, I always had that or a black or coloured CC trendy. I will show you a picture of the other bag that I was choosing between. It is a sage green. When I say sage green, I feel like, you know, sage green has really had a moment and we're all like lolling. But it's not a sage green. It's almost like a khaki kind of colour. It's like somewhere between the two. The filter that I use makes it look a bit more like minty. It wasn't, it was like almost a khaki and I just thought it was stunning. It's a colour that I really, really love. Like I do love a green. I really, really liked that bag in particular. I still do, if you see me buy it, honestly. I mean, I'm going to London to celebrate my birthday. If you see me buying any anything, it's my birthday. <laughs> Let's just let me live. But to choose out the two of them, I felt like this had to be it. It was closer to my dream bag, so that black and brown houndstooth but this actually felt like 
a more timeless version and it's more black than brown and i really like that because i feel like it will still work with so much that i will wear on a day-to-day -day basis i love this kind of like woven fabric i think it's so beautiful it's such a nice casual fabric i have two other chanel bags for those of you that are new here that won't already know i have a boy bag which is in the black lambskin leather and then i have a classic flap jumbo in the black lambskin leather neither are like grained or anything like that so they are very really gorgeous dressy bags i would say they always like really elevate an outfit and obviously this would do that too but it looks a lot more low-key like it's a lot more everyday i really love the fact that i can touch this with nails and just not even like worry about scratching it whereas the lambskin leather just i could accidentally like do that and it would probably leave a mark but i love that this is similar it fits like so when you look at pretty much all of my bags this fits in the collection like you can tell it's a Susie bag but it is different like I don't own anything else like this and it is just stunning so I would have happily had this like had they had it in an all black I probably would have walked away with it as well the fact that it comes with this kind of gorgeous tan woven through it I just I just absolutely love it such a gorgeous bag it's a really great size for the fact it's the small I think it's an amazing size I love that it has a top handle i really like a top handle bag i just think that they're so easy to like carry around but it also has a long strap which isn't that long being shorter long handle bags are just not it for me the chanel boy i have the small the strap is so long it is so long on me it's slightly awkward i always have to wear it crossbody otherwise it does look a little bit awkward on me but this i could wear kind of crossbody if i wanted to it would sit a little bit higher up but it sits a really lovely point over my shoulder and i love that really it is quite similar in it's like you know top handle long strap to the louis vuitton pochette matisse which i have and it is a similar vibe in terms of it's like casualness but i still think that they are different enough to work beautifully into my collection and get equal amounts of wear but yeah it's so gorgeous i love the mixed metals on it so we've got this kind of i would say like gum metal silver to start and then it goes into like a antique gold chain and then we go back into like a gun metal but that is more of a matte tone and the whole way through it's got that classic leather woven through it we then have the gold on the cc as well and i just love like how different the cc is on the chanel 19s i love the woven it's just very cute to carry on showing you through the outside it's got a little back pocket which i really like i use the back pocket on my chanel jumbo and my louis vuitton pochette matisse so much so any bag that has a back pocket makes me very happy i just find it so handy we've got the little twist here which is actually very satisfying it feels really different to the classic flap and then this is the inside like such a nice sizable kind of like interior to the bag so there really is so much space in there i would say potentially almost as much space as my jumbo classic flap more space than the louis vuitton pochette matisse obviously way more space than my chanel small boy bag so this is like a really good everyday bag for me i did want to carry a little bit more and the fact that it is fabric it can have a little bit more in it it's not very very rigid i find with the classic flap i have to almost play like a real game of tetris with it and basically make sure everything slots in because you can't put something that's an awkward shape in the bag will not mold to it so you'll just end up like using a ridiculous amount of space for something that's normally not that big so i think this is just going to be such a great addition to my collection i feel like i'm really holding it wonky it's such a perfect 30th birthday bag it also has a little zip pocket on the inside which is a really good size just for keeping anything out of the way yeah and i think it will style really well into my wardrobe as well i can see it going with a lot of things when i was in chanel i was wearing my like zara white like over shirt that's a little bit of a woven texture and just a pair of blue jeans and you could just immediately see this tied in perfectly with it so i think just for like every day this will work perfectly into my wardrobe and it's just a really special bag to have i always wanted something that i love chanel and it always feels so special to me it's not like an everyday purchase for me so that was what i knew that i wanted to have for my 30th birthday i was originally looking at purchasing a dior bag i love the fact that the lady diors are they're, they're so dressy and so pretty and i do love that and i would really love to have one in my collection but this just felt like a really me purchase and something that i knew i would get wear out of every day i didn't even really factor in like the price increases i know a lot of people like to buy chanel because the bags do increase over time like i think my boy bag is now worth more than i bought it for even with wear and tear which is just crazy to me and whilst that is such a big plus of buying chanel bags i don't see myself selling them so i'm just not sure that it should be factored in for me but yeah this for me is just 
so gorgeous i really love it so yeah this is my birthday bag in terms of pricing i kept to the receipt this time every time i've done kind of like unboxing before i've never had the receipt on me so always been really really terrible at actually telling you how much the price was i've also only ever bought them in euros so i never really knew what the actual like conversion was and whether the conversion worked out of being any better or not but yeah some people say it works out better to buy the bags in paris and like or in the country that they are the brand is home to i don't know if that's true i've never really like looked Looked into it deep enough to figure out whether that is true but i suspect with brexit it might be better for us to purchase us from the uk to purchase in paris now i'm not 100 i know there's something to do with vat that other countries really benefited from but i don't know if we will get the same but i paid four thousand and twenty pounds which after looking at resale prices of this felt like an absolute steal only because resale over like the past couple of years especially given covid skyrocketed like it was ridiculous but also having looked at prices of what my chanel jumbo would be worth now and actually what i paid for it in the moment it was more expensive than this and i'm pretty sure like the boy bags are still going for quite a lot of money now so this actually didn't feel that crazy to me in terms of chanel prices obviously they are crazy i am never going to argue with anyone over the cost of them it is insane and i'm not saying it as like a thing i'm literally saying it because i know people will ask how much it retails for because i don't think i even knew exactly how much this particular one was going to cost before i went in there i think there might have been like a hundred pounds difference between this and the cc trendy and i can't remember which way round it went i think this one was the cheaper of the two not by a lot but just in case you're wondering the price difference it wasn't too far between the two but i'm really happy with this because i would say that from a glance it almost looks like it would fit in more but i obviously don't have the two to test between i think that's it i think that's everything you need to know if there's any more information that you would like that you feel that you didn't get from this because i haven't filmed an unboxing video in <laughs> years if on that note you do want to go back and watch one of my unboxings from about five years ago i will leave it linked at the top of the screen anyway my point being i can't remember the kind of details that people actually give in unboxing videos so i hope it's been somewhat helpful or you know if you were feeling nosy and wanted to know what i got i hope that this has satisfied you but yeah that's going to be it from me and my new little bag Today. I'm now off to go out for dinner and I'm probably gonna take this with me. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to take it to London with me. From the shopping I'm gonna do. I'm so excited. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.